This man is handed a note and knows he's about to die. Welcome back, Charlie here. Today we're going to take a look at some scary videos with the most chilling backstories I could find. On their own, these videos may look totally normal. But once you learn the dark truths behind them, they become the scariest videos you've ever seen. But I have to warn you, these videos only get more scary and mysterious as we go. Death Note The man you're looking at in this video is named Chilino Sanchez. Chilino Sanchez was a very famous Mexican singer. Chilino gained a lot of fame in Mexico for his songs. He later went to the USA and became famous there too. But in 1992, he returned to his home of Mexico. This was to perform a rare gig in Culiacan, Mexico. The gig was on the 15th of May, 1992. The show went relatively normal at first. That was until Chilino Sanchez was about to play his final song for the night. Before his final song, he was handed a note. The note said, if you play this next song, you will die. Chilino paused to read the note and naturally seemed rather scared. But after a few seconds, he recomposed himself. He crumpled up the piece of paper, put it in his pocket, and continued the show. In defiance of the note, he played his final song. And it said he gave one of the best performances of his life. Almost like he knew it would be his last. He then gave an unusually long goodbye to everyone in the band. Chilino then left through a back door. He got into his car and drove home. But on the way, he was pulled over by a fake police car. The men claimed to be law enforcement agents. They told Chilino that the head of police wanted to speak with him. They then handcuffed and blindfolded Chilino. He was put into their vehicle and driven to an undisclosed location. Chilino was then shot in the back of the head twice. He was found four hours later. A motive was never established, but it's believed the hit was related to Mexican narco gangs. Chilino had connections to people who worked in cartels. He also wrote various narco corridos. These are songs about specific drug lords in Mexico. It's clear Chilino made some enemies and paid the ultimate price with his life. The person recording this had no idea it would be the last recording of Chilino alive. He looks so calm on the surface. Almost like after reading the note, he accepted his fate. Tesla detects ghosts. Tesla are famous for their self-driving cars. Of course, for this to be safe, the car must be able to detect any humans in the way. But perhaps cars can detect what humans can't. One man named Edgar had driven into a cemetery to deliver flowers at a grave. It's almost as if his car was detecting spirits around him. As Edgar moves his camera around the cemetery, you can see there's no one there. The person keeps flashing on and off the screen, almost as if the Tesla is having trouble detecting whatever this is. Some believe the Tesla really did detect a ghost or spirit. But what do you think? The car detects people using sensors, which is the same technology ghost hunters use when going to a haunted house. Perhaps sensors can detect ghosts, but our human eyes simply cannot see them. Fritz the Doll Mr. Fritz is a ventriloquist doll. He was used by the German army to entertain allied prisoners of war during World War II. He was used in Stalag 2B which was a German prisoner of war camp. His creator was an American prisoner of war. His creator was shot by German troops along with 10 other men. This was during forced labor duty on a nearby farm. This occurred only two weeks before the camp was liberated in 1945. Since then, it's been said Mr. Fritz is possessed by his creator's spirit. For years, many said this doll would move all by itself until 2019 when it was caught moving on camera. The video begins with various strange orbs moving around, and that's when Mr. Fritz's glass case opens all by itself. 
If you think that's creepy, then check out the footage from the following night. The following night, the orbs appear again, and just like the night before, the door opens. But pay close attention to Mr. Fritz's eyes. As you can see, they clearly move. Mr. Fritz's mouth then begins to move as well. The doll is not animatronic at all, and inside it's hollow. There's no mechanism that could make its eyes and mouth move. The doll is currently owned by Michael Diamond. He keeps it in a glass case in Liverpool, UK. He says he has now secured the cabinet with a chain and covered it with a blanket. For his own sake, I hope that's enough to stop Mr. Fritz. Missing Persons Shrine in 2016, a hiker named James Rankin was taking a walk in the woods. He was in Long Island Park in New York. That was when he came across a missing persons poster. He thought it was strange to see one of these in the woods. However, after taking a few more steps, he saw more and more posters. In total, he saw more than two dozen missing persons posters hanging in the woods. All of the posters were real. The posters showed all kinds of people who'd gone missing across the US. These are these are just the ones that I've gone and closed up close up. James also uncovered a camp. There was a tent, bedding, and opened cans of food. It's clear that someone was living here, and for some sinister reason was collecting missing persons posters. Some speculated that whoever did this may be behind the disappearances. Maybe it's like he's keeping score in some sick way. After James found this, police opened an investigation. But so far, no leads have been found. Whoever made this shrine is yet to be identified. And whether the person had anything to do with the disappearances is unknown. Dragon Creature you never know what you might see when driving at night. In June of 2021, a man was driving down a rural road. There were no street lights, and the only thing lighting the way was his headlights. That was when his dash cam picks up something scary jumping from one side of the road to the other. The driver also saw this, but it was too fast to see. It was only when he went back and looked at his dash cam footage that he realized this was not an animal, or at least not one that he could identify. The creature looks almost like a dragon. Some say it looks like a gigantic mantis, but no one is sure what this actually is. To this day, it remains a total mystery. Demon in the Bed This video comes from a Malaysian teenager named Samir. He was laying on a bed watching a movie with his mother. His mother had fallen asleep, so Samir decided to take a funny video to show his mother when she woke up. But when the camera pans over to his mother, there's something strange in the bed. Samir freezes as he can't believe what he's seeing, but a pale demon face is in the bed with them. When he looks back, the face is gone. Samir is terrified and immediately wakes up his mother. Samir wasn't sure if he was seeing things as he'd been awake for some time. But as you can see on the camera, there's clearly something on the bed. The figure casts a shadow and is changing the pillow's shape. So it appears this is not CGI. Living Photograph One day a family was sitting in their living room looking at old photos. But that's when something on one of the photos made everyone on the family stop in fear. They realized that the hair on a baby photo was moving all by itself. Scarily, the infant in this photo passed away. Some believe that this person's spirit may be haunting the photo. Let me know what you think could be going on in this image. Frozen Birds This video was recorded in Florida, USA. A man is passing by some hills when he sees some birds in the sky, but he soon realizes that none of the birds are moving in the sky. These birds appear to be frozen in time. There's no way that a bird could suspend itself in the sky and not fall down. They have to flap their wings in order to stay up. It would be understandable if this was one bird, such as an eagle. But this is a large flock of crows which always have to flap their wings. Could this be a real-life glitch in the Matrix? Elizabeth Barraza in 2019, Elizabeth Barraza was living with her husband, Sergio. They lived in Tombal, Texas. Their five-year anniversary was coming up. 
To celebrate, they were planning on taking a trip to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. They were big fans of the Star Wars franchise. Elizabeth would often dress up in a Stormtrooper outfit. She would then go to a local hospital and cheer up all of the patients inside. It's safe to say Elizabeth was a really great woman. Elizabeth wanted to get some extra money for their trip, so one morning she decided to do a yard sale. In the early hours of January 25th, Elizabeth Barraza went out to her front yard. She began laying things out that she was going to sell. But at 7am, a vehicle stops and pulls up beside her. A dark figure with long hair who appears to be wearing a bathrobe approaches Elizabeth. Elizabeth seems relaxed and says good morning. But that's when the person pulls out a firearm. They pull the trigger three times. Elizabeth then falls to the ground, and they pull the trigger once more. They did this at point-blank range, making sure Elizabeth would not survive. The killer then jumps into their pickup truck and drives away quickly. Of course, everyone in the area was saddened because Elizabeth was so well-liked, but they were just as confused as they were sad. There seemed to be no motive at all. Whoever did this did not steal anything from Elizabeth. They simply took her life and then drove away. Footage of the event was captured from a neighbor's surveillance camera. We know that Elizabeth said good morning in a friendly tone to this person. That's because police released ring camera footage from Elizabeth's house. The shooter's car was picked up on various surveillance cameras, but it was never traced anywhere. Police aren't even sure if the person who did this is male or female. It really seems like this was a planned assassination, but no one is sure why. Elizabeth got on well with everyone. Her friends and family were interviewed, but they all said she had no enemies who would do such a thing. Another weird fact is Elizabeth told no one she was going to do a yard sale. It was spontaneous. She never mentioned it on social media or anywhere else. Her husband Sergio was investigated as a suspect, as is often the case when one person in a couple is murdered. But after going through Sergio's phone, police found nothing of interest. The shooting happened around five minutes after Sergio left for work. Some would say this is good timing, but it's more likely that the shooter was waiting for Sergio to go to work. That way they would be alone with Elizabeth, and there would be less chance of them getting seen. It's very mysterious and eerie that we don't know who did this or why. Elizabeth was such a loved person in her community. As I mentioned, she was known for going into her local hospital to cheer up the patients. She had no idea that she would be taken to that same hospital after getting shot four times. The family is still seeking justice with a $20,000 reward. If you know anything about this case, then call the number on screen. The Jenny Jones Show If you were alive in the 90s, I'm sure you remember the Jenny Jones Show. It was very similar to Oprah. It was hosted by Jenny Jones and was a light daytime TV show. On March 6th, 1995, an episode of the Jenny Jones Show was being taped. It began like any other episode. Jenny Jones calmly introduced the episode's topic. It was a male-on-male -male crush. But this light-hearted segment would have serious consequences. It would also ruin many lives and lead to the end of the Jenny Jones show. Scott Amadieu and his friend Donna Riley were on the show. While on the show, Scott said that he had a crush on his male friend named Jonathan Schmidt. Jonathan had been wearing headphones backstage and had heard none of this. Jonathan had no idea that Scott had been telling the audience that he had a crush on Jonathan. At first, Jenny Jones made Jonathan think it was Donna who had a crush on him. But eventually Jenny Jones said, guess what, it's Scott who has a crush on you, not Donna. The audience began laughing and clapping. And Jonathan seemed to take this rather well. He was totally straight and had no interest in Scott. But he seemed to take it pretty well and realize it was all fun and games. Of course, Jonathan was naturally uncomfortable, but he did not seem upset or angry at all. He simply laughed and said he was straight and not interested in a relationship with Scott. After the taping, Jonathan, Scott, and Donna went to get drinks and dinner. They then flew home together to Michigan, and it seemed like everything was fine. They were acting like the friends they'd always been. But when they returned home three days later, Scott left a flirty note outside Jonathan's apartment. 
The note said, you have the right tools to turn this on. It's clear Scott meant this in a flirty way, but maybe it was too far seeing as Jonathan had been kind of embarrassed on the TV show, and he decided to take Scott's life. He drove to purchase ammo and a shotgun. He then drove to Scott's house. He then aimed the shotgun at Scott and fired twice. During the trial, Jonathan said he was very embarrassed about what happened on the Jenny Jones show, and the flirtatious note from Scott sent him over the edge. But of course, this is no excuse to take someone's life. In 1996, Jonathan was found guilty. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison, and was released in 2017. Scott's family sued the Jenny Jones show. The Jenny Jones show was found guilty and had to give Scott's family $25 million. And soon after, the show was taken off air. Nuclear Fizzle Nuclear bombs are scary. They are designed to create gigantic explosions. And most of the time, extra things are added to the nukes to make the clouds even larger. But sometimes all of this fails, and you get what is known as a nuclear fizzle. This is the only publicly available footage of a nuclear fizzle. It was taken at the Yuma test site in 1956. A blindingly bright light can be seen but it soon turns into a surprisingly small black cloud. This is known as a nuclear fizzle. This was part of the top secret Operation Red Wing. It may look small, but this explosion was the equivalent to 200 tons of TNT, and it could wipe out anything in a one mile radius. Slumber Party this image may look like a normal slumber party, but one of these women would not leave the slumber party alive. That woman was 41-year-old Tamla Horsford. Tamla was a very kind and energetic woman. In the fall of 2018, Tamla went to a friend's for a slumber party. The slumber party would be held at her friend Jean Mayer's home. There were 12 people besides Tamla at the party. This included nine women, two men, and one husband who dropped off and picked up his wife. The woman chatted, ate food, and drank booze. They also watched a football game on TV. The men watched the same game, but in a different room. At around 1.30 a.m., guests began to go to bed, but Tamla stayed up. During the night, various photos and videos of Tamla were recorded. The last person to see Tamla alive was Bridget Fuller. They chatted briefly before Bridget went to bed. Over the next 10 minutes, the home security system registered the back door opening, closing, and then opening again. It also recorded the garage door opening, closing, and then opening again. At 8.30 the next morning, Madeline Lombardi, Jean Mayer's aunt, went downstairs for a cup of coffee. That was when she saw something outside in the backyard. It was Tamla Horsford. She was lying face down in the pajamas she was wearing the night before. The first thing Madeline did was kneel down and begin to pray. It's kind of weird she did this before calling 911. Eventually, Madeline woke up Jean and Jean called 911. In the 911 call, she did not sound worried at all. She said it looks like Tamla had been drinking and fell off the balcony. She's not moving one bit. She's not breathing. She's completely face down in the yard. Cops arrived at the scene within 15 minutes. Paramedics also got there, but it was no use. Tamla was not alive. The party guests and the cops both said Tamla probably fell from the balcony, but an autopsy said her injuries were not consistent with a fall. Tamla's family believed that someone may have taken her life. But on February 20th, 2019, the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office closed the case. They said no crime had been committed. The case received no public recognition until two months later. That was when a witness was fired from his county court officer job. He had accessed the internal report and leaked it. People instantly began to think something was not right with the case. Many believed someone had purposely taken Tamla's life. The hashtag justice for Tamla went viral online, and many celebrities also came out saying they wanted to know more about the case. For example, T.I. and 50 Cent believe Tamla had had her life taken. In June of 2020, the case was reopened. But almost one year later, the case was quietly closed yet again. Despite the fact that many, including Tamla's family, believe someone had taken her life. 
To this day, people are still trying to get justice for Tamla. But do you think this was simply a fall from a balcony? Or do you think this is a major cover-up and someone took Tamla's life? If you're enjoying this video, then why not subscribe and press the bell too? It really does help me out. Erica Hernandez This video shows 40-year-old Erica Hernandez. She is leaving her brother's house on April 17th, 2021. It is the last video of Erica before she disappeared. She invited some family members over, but many could not make it. She did not want the food to go to waste, so she decided to drive it to her brother's house. Erica dropped off the food and left. Her kids were in the car with her, so she dropped them off back at home. She then drove back out to her best friend Maggie's house to give her some food. Erica left Maggie's house at around 2.30am. As Erica was driving home, Maggie texted her, checking if she'd got home safely. To which Erica replied, I'm five minutes away from my house. Five minutes later, Maggie texted her again, saying, did you get home safe? But Maggie never received a response. No one heard from Erica since. When Erica did not return home, her family realized something was wrong. They went out for a massive search, but found nothing. That was until about one month later. Erica's SUV was found in a local lake. Inside the vehicle, Erica was found. It's believed Erica's car may have somehow hit a curb, and then fell into the lake. But it's not entirely clear how this happened. Either way, authorities said no foul play occurred, and the case has been closed ever since. Possessed Girl In the United States, every cop car is mounted with a dash cam. They often capture crimes and other scary things, but none are as scary and mysterious as this cop dash cam video. It was captured by Officer Malik of the Azusa Police Department in California. At 3.40am, he was driving down a dirt track near some woods. But as Officer Malik turns, he sees a woman standing in the road. The girl is facing down with her arms crossed, and in front of her is a small fire. At first, the girl does not seem concerned by the police car. She continues looking down for a moment. But then, suddenly, she throws her head back and puts her arms out to her sides. Her face then appears to light up. The light seems to be coming from her eyes or mouth. Almost like she's being possessed by something. The small fire around her makes it seem like a cult or witch ritual. It's as if this girl was practicing black magic. This makes me never want to drive anywhere at night. Just imagine what Officer Malik was thinking when he saw this girl. Sitting figure. This dash cam video is from Malaysia in 2017. Two friends are driving up a winding road. It seems normal until they make a turn. That's when they see something that makes them stop in their tracks. A figure wearing all white is seen sitting cross-legged in the middle of the road. Okay, that's a bit scary. Yeah. That's a bit scary. That is very scary. The two men are naturally very scared and begin to reverse. There are various theories as to what this person was doing. Some believe this is part of a common scam that happens in Malaysia. A person pretends to be a lost child and sits in the middle of the road. Drivers then slow down and get out of the car to help the child. But as soon as the driver leaves their vehicle, people waiting on the side of the road will come out and ambush the driver. They will then rob the driver and in some cases even steal their car. Others say that whatever this figure is could have been someone who's possessed, or even a ghost. But because the two men wisely drove away, we'll never know. Although I would love to get to the bottom of this clip, I think the two men made the right decision by driving away. If they got out to investigate, they could have been in serious danger. Desert Witch in 2013, there was a spike in reports of black magic and witchcraft occurring in the Middle East. Many countries in the Middle East are very religious, and they still have laws against witchcraft and black magic. If you're found guilty of practicing black magic, then you could be imprisoned or even killed. But one year later, in 2014, this dashcam video surfaced. It was taken in the Al Mutla Desert in Kuwait. A man driving in the desert at night sees a woman hunched over. The woman is wearing all white and appears to have long black hair. 
The warning engine revs and the bright headlights don't phase the woman at all. The driver yells at the woman to leave him alone, but instead the woman moves closer to the car. Eventually, the car backs away in total fear. It really looks like something straight from a horror movie. This made many people in the Middle East very scared of driving at night in the desert. And I can understand why. If I saw this, I think I'd be putting my foot on the gas pedal instead of backing away. Masked Robbers This video comes from Indianapolis, USA. The driver was inside the parked vehicle, but that's when a creepy person in a mask can be seen walking around the car. At first, the person in the car thinks it's a joke, but these laughs soon turn to screams of horror. <laughs> that's because the gang of masked criminals begin to rob the driver. The criminals took the woman's purse and cell phone. But thankfully, the woman was okay. <coughs> it's scary to get robbed by anyone, but when the criminals are wearing eerie masks, it makes it all the more creepy. It's as if the criminals did not just want to rob this person, but scare them too. Hooded Man this dashcam footage takes place at 1.30am on a Sunday. It was recorded in Peterborough, Australia. A car is driving along a quiet road in the country, but as the car drives down the road, a hooded man can be seen. As the car gets closer, the man steps in front of the car to try and stop it. Thankfully, the driver makes a clever maneuver and gets around this man, but that's when the man begins to scream and lunge towards the car. The driver then steps on the gas and drives away as fast as he can. To make things even more scary, the man's wife was traveling in a separate car about one minute behind him on the same road. He frantically tried to call her to warn her about this man, but unfortunately he was not quick enough. The driver's wife experienced the same thing he did, but thankfully she drove away unscathed. To this day, the couple are still not sure what this man's motivations were. It's unknown whether this man was trying to rob them, steal their car, or harm them in some other way. Real Walking Dead One day a YouTuber named Alyssa Cross was driving down a street in 2016. That's when she saw what she thought was a real-life zombie. The woman is dragging her feet and her arms and legs are moving around in a strange way. This woman really does seem like she's out of The Walking Dead. Alyssa thought the woman may need help, so she stopped and tried to speak to her. But instead, the woman got very angry at Alyssa and began shouting. But Alyssa could not make out what the woman was saying. So Alyssa drove off in fear. To this day, no one's sure why this woman is walking like a zombie. Some believe that she may have ingested some kind of substance. While others speculate this is a real-life zombie. African Hijackers this dash cam footage comes from South Africa. In 2021, a man was driving to work. That's when, out of nowhere, three men approach him and try to stop his car. They were expecting him to simply get out and give his car up, but instead, this brave driver reversed very fast. The hijackers got so close, they even touched his car's bonnet. But this man makes a very stealthy maneuver and amazingly escapes. Even after this man backs up, the hijackers chase his car. Thankfully, the men did not use the firearms they had and simply let the man go. I think the scariest part about this is it's happening in broad daylight. There are many people around, and it seems these criminals are operating with impunity. Locust Swarm this video is so creepy, it's almost biblical. If you have a fear of bugs, then don't watch this. 
It was captured by a trucker in Russia. He was driving down a highway when all of a sudden a swarm of locusts appears. Each of these swarms can contain around 200 million locusts. It took them just a mere four seconds to totally cover the truck's windshield. Men in Black In 2016, this dashcam footage surfaced online. Someone is driving down a country road late at night, but when they turn a corner, they see a man wearing a suit with a briefcase. He looks exactly like one of the Men in Black, Men in Black are said to be special agents involved in covering up UFO activity. The man then runs away and reveals nine other Men in Black who look identical to him. The driver then stops and looks into a field. And you can see another man lighting a flare. Another man then appears to walk by wearing a mask. The mask seems occult in some way. Some say it's a mask of a reindeer, while others say it's a demon. The mysterious footage went viral very quickly. Some say this is proof of real Men in Black. Light Orb This incredibly mysterious video was broadcast live on TV in Russia. A news reporter is delivering a fairly routine story. But that's when something incredibly mysterious happens behind her. Wow. Blin. A bright light can be seen in the sky and it's pointed out by her cameraman. The reporter seems incredibly shocked and says wow as the orb flies away into the sky. The light seems incredibly intense. You can see that it physically lights up the area around it. And to me this suggests it's not an edited video. After all this was broadcast live on Russian TV. And it's very hard to add special effects to a live video. After this was broadcast on live TV, Russian social media exploded with theories. Some speculated this was a real life angel. And of course, some said this was a sign of alien life. But to this day, we still don't know what caused the light orb. There is a possibility this was a naturally occurring light source. But as of yet, this very mysterious broadcast is unexplained. Disappearing Woman You never expect to see someone vanish before your very eyes, but you especially don't expect anyone to be able to disappear live on TV news. But that's exactly what happened in 2016. The Danish TV station SportsCenter was interviewing a man at an airport. The interview is pretty boring, but it's what's happening behind the man that made headlines worldwide. Pay close attention to this blonde woman in the background. One second, she's there, and the next, she's not. The video was soon posted online and gained millions of views. It caused many to say that this was a glitch in the Matrix. How is it possible for a woman to simply vanish live on TV? Some speculate the woman simply walked away as the other woman with a trolley walked in front of her. But I find this very unlikely. She would have had to time it perfectly. And she's also taller than the woman in front of her. This means she would have had to walk at the exact same angle while crouching as well. To make things even more baffling, this was never followed up on. The disappearing woman never came forward. And to this day, we still don't know if she's re-emerged. Suspect Speed Off News reporters sometimes go to great lengths to get a scoop. And sometimes this involves putting themselves in danger. One day a CBS reporter is breaking a news story. He's talking about the discovery of three bodies, presumably in a very dangerous area. But that's when something creepy happens behind him live on TV. A car emerges down the empty dark street he's filming on. And the occupants are presumably watching the reporter. That suspect yet either. Yeah, still a lot of questions to be answered here, Jake, but, uh... Shh. Um. Jake, are you okay? That's when the car rapidly accelerates. Many theories sprung up saying that the driver was the person who committed the crime being reported on. He may have returned to the scene of the crime. 
And maybe he did this to interrupt the news report. Or maybe scare the reporter into not reporting the story. But of course, what the driver did not know was that this was being broadcast live on TV. The reporter is very scared and runs off camera. And judging by his co-hosts' faces, they're scared for his life too. Lightning Strike one of the most dangerous jobs in news is being a weather reporter. That is one who actually goes into the field and reports live on scene. They often risk their lives to capture amazing or scary weather phenomena. One day this happened to a Fox reporter named Matt Roadwald. He is doing a report on flooding and lightning happening in the area. That's when various cars get stuck in a flash flood. If lightning was to strike this water, then the people would be electrocuted. That's when, all of a sudden, behind Matt is a gigantic lightning strike. The lightning was only a few meters away from Matt. And if this hit him, there's a good chance he would have not survived. Near Miss in California, a Fox News reporter is doing a regular broadcast on the side of a road. That's when one of the cars on the road loses control. The car approaches the reporter at a high speed. And confusing situation for... Oh, but luckily the reporter moves out of the way just in time. It's a good thing he's fast on his feet. If he'd noticed this car just seconds later, then he'd be done for. But luckily, the reporter and cameraman both escaped unscathed. Helicopter Hell An ABC News helicopter is flying over Brooklyn. They're doing a normal report, but that's when something goes terribly wrong. The pilot loses control of the helicopter. The helicopter begins to spin around and rapidly descends. And eventually, the helicopter crashes onto a rooftop. Amazingly, everyone survived. This has to be one of the luckiest moments ever caught on live news. Vanishing Pope The Pope often does addresses from his window in the Vatican City. These are broadcast on TV to Catholics all over the world. But in April of 2020, one of these broadcasts made headlines for something strange occurring. After the Pope finishes his speech, he turns around to go back inside. But instead of walking away as normal, he appears to vanish into thin air. People slowed down the video and realized the Pope did seem to simply vanish. Some said this could have been edited, but this was being broadcast live. Theories quickly sprung up about this being a hologram and not the actual Pope. Others thought maybe he's more divine than everyone expected, and this was some kind of miracle. Some said that because this was during the pandemic, maybe he did not want to be out in public. So to make sure he was safe, they used a hologram instead. I find this unlikely, but how do you explain the Pope disappearing? Some called this a glitch in the Matrix. Zombie Warning Emergency broadcasts are always scary. They're normally used to warn about dangerous weather, or in some cases, potential missile launches. But one day, people watching KRTV were stunned, scared, and confused. This was after a very mysterious emergency message was played. No one in North Carolina. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking their living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Thousands of people in Montana watching this heard the warning. Of course, a zombie warning does sound unlikely, but because it was on TV and it sounded very realistic, many believed it to be true. 911 was flooded with phone calls asking about a zombie outbreak. But of course, this was not real. Instead, the TV station said their broadcast system had been hacked. But three questions remain. Who did this, how did they do it, and why? Some believe the hacking excuse is a cover-up story and something really did happen. Just three years after this aired, a US Department of Defense document was leaked. It was called CONOP 8888, and it detailed how the US military would react to a zombie apocalypse. So, maybe they know something that we don't. Either way, this is still a very scary warning message to be broadcast live on TV. White House Ghost 
This news clip goes back a few years to when Obama was president, but despite it being slightly old, it still remains unexplained to this day. Obama and then Vice President Joe Biden are doing a press conference about Syria, but that's when in the window behind Obama a strange face can be seen. The creepy face appears to be cloaked in a black hood. The face looks slightly human, but there's something not quite right. Many said this could prove the White House is haunted. The face appears to be watching Barack Obama for most of the conference. Some theorized the face was simply a reflection of something happening on the White House lawn, but other people have enhanced this image and said that's not the case. After enhancements, it does appear like the image is coming from inside the glass. Actual reflections appear to be much more transparent, and they also move around a lot more while this face remains perfectly still. What do you think this is, a ghost or something else? This is not the first time people have said the White House is haunted. In 2009, Michelle Obama said that her and Barack would often hear strange noises in the White House, and they would often joke that the house was haunted. President Harry Truman and Prime Minister Winston Churchill are also said to have seen spectres inside the White House. So maybe this is one of the first actual sightings of a White House ghost caught on camera. Storm Drain Interview Recently a very creepy clip has been going around social media. The video shows a Channel 6 news reporter entering a storm drain. That's when she comes across a homeless man living inside the drain. She bravely goes up to him and asks, are there other people that live down here with you? Are there other people that live down here with you? Radma. The man only replies with the words Ratman in a very scary voice. The guy is covered in dirt and it seems like he's been living in the sewers for some time. But although this scary news clip looks convincing, it's actually from a new movie called VHS 94. This has been shared on TikTok a lot and many believe it's a real news report, but I still thought I'd include it so I could clear it up. And although it is just a movie clip, it still is very creepy. But based off the other clips we've seen, I think it's safe to say that sometimes reality is scarier than fiction. Flying Humanoid Some people find all bugs scary, but even if you don't find wasps, spiders, or beetles scary, you will find this humanoid bug absolutely terrifying. Oh my god! Ugh. Some kids in an apple orchard see a flying bug. At first it seems to be a firefly or maybe a dragonfly, but after a few moments you can soon see that it has arms and legs. The insect seems to have four limbs, two arms and two legs. This has led to many calling it a humanoid. The creature quickly flies off, scaring the kids. Oh my god! <sighs> The video was filmed by the girl's father in Kent, UK. Some online have even called this a real-life fairy. But what do you think it is? An unidentified species, a humanoid, or just a hoax? Digging Creature One day, two teenagers were driving past a cemetery in Akron, Ohio. They were on their work break, but that's when they saw something strange from outside their car window. Some kind of dark figure seems to be digging something up in the cemetery. To me it does not look like a human. The body shape is slightly off, and the arm seems too thin. Some theories online said this could be a Sasquatch or even a zombie, but really we have no idea what this is. The girls were scared so they quickly drove off. Either way, it seems that something that was not human is digging up graves. If that doesn't send a chill down your spine, I don't know what will. Ever since this video was published, locals have steered clear of this cemetery. You never know if and when this creature might make a reappearance. Forest Humanoid 
There's something about forests which just creeps me out. It seems every forest in every town has some scary story attached to it. Whether real or myth, it's always enough to make you look over your shoulder as you're walking through the forest. In 2016, Don John Averon was walking in the woods. That's when he saw a creature like he'd never seen before. This does not look like a human, nor an animal that I'm aware of. Don very carefully crept up on this creature. The creature is ape-like, but it has very long and bent arms and legs. It also seems to be hunched over. Some have said this could be a Sasquatch, or even the famous Bigfoot. Scarily, the creature's gigantic sloth-like arms have no fingers. The creature walks deeper into the forest, but Don does not dare follow it. He had no way to tell, but it could have been dangerous. Can you identify this bizarre creature? Some have said it could be a deformed monkey or ape, or even a bear, but I find this rather unlikely. It's far too thin and lumbering to be a bear. It also seems to walk on two legs, almost like a human. This has led to some referring to it as a forest humanoid. Angel do you believe in angels? If the answer is no, then you may reconsider that after watching this video. In 2013, Richard Maria began seeing some kind of advanced life form following him around. He kept seeing the life form, but it would happen so fast and he'd never get a good look. So after a few weeks, he decided to set up surveillance cameras around his home. That's when at 6am, the camera captures something. A humanoid looking creature with possible wings seems to fly up into the sky. This happened in Richard's backyard. Its arms or wings are at its side, and it does seem to take the form of a human. You can vaguely make out a head, body, two arms, and two legs. The amazing thing is, there's nothing making this creature fly. The creature's wings aren't even moving. Perhaps it's flying using a method that us humans simply don't understand. Richard had been seeing this creature in the sky for many days. He believes it's a demon. He calls it a humanoid grey. But others said maybe it's an angel who is looking over and protecting Richard. Some have said this could be CGI overlaid on the video, but there's something that makes me doubt that. The angel or demon appears to give off some kind of light, and this light can clearly be seen on the trees around it. So whatever this is, I do think it is actually in the video and not overlaid as CGI. But if that's the case, then what is it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Desert Creature after forests, deserts might be the second most mysterious place on Earth. There are hundreds of cases of people disappearing in the desert, never to be seen again. And deserts are also the number one spot for UFO sightings. One day some construction workers in Portugal were working out in the desert. The construction site was in the middle of nowhere. The workers were talking about the project, but that's when they saw something strange walking around. A large humanoid creature appeared to be walking around. It looks to be around 7 or 8 feet tall, much taller than most humans. The workers in the video are shocked and very scared. They consider going closer, but wisely decide against it. To this day, the creature has never been seen again. Almost no one goes to this very rural location. So perhaps no human has ever ran into this again. Or if they have, they didn't live to tell the tale. Graveyard Creature this video was filmed in 2007, but it was only in 2016 when the man who filmed this re-watched it. And when he did, he saw something he did not notice when first filming it. As the camera shows the tombstones, you can see something behind one of the tombs. The strange creature appears to peer out from behind a grave. Some said it looks like an alien, and others said it was likely a zombie given the location. I find both of these theories quite unlikely, but two things are for sure. The creature is very scary, and it's almost definitely not human. The cemetery does appear to be in a forest area, so maybe it's an unidentified forest animal. As of yet, we still don't know. Lake Monster 
Lake Okanaga in Canada is rumoured to house many mysterious underwater creatures. But a few years back, one of these giant creatures was caught on camera for the first time. Some kind of massive sea creature can clearly be seen. It's moving in a straight line, which suggests it's one massive underwater creature. Some have said it could be a boat towing something, but there's clearly no boat in sight, and there's no boat ripples in the water either. If you take a trip to this great Canadian lake, I suggest you don't take a dip. Tree Man In some ways, playgrounds are very nice and innocent, but at night, they become quite eerie and creepy. Don't get what I mean? Well then check out this mysterious playground creature known as Tree Man. This terrifying creature appears to be waving at whoever's taking the photo. The figure seems to be grey with red eyes. It almost seems to be a tree that's come to life. The playground is located in a forest, which makes this all the more creepy. It almost seems friendly the way it's sitting on a slide and waving at you, but maybe it's doing this to lull you into a false sense of security. And only when you get near will it strike. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below, which was the scariest creature in this video. Be sure to check out my second channel for short videos. As always, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.